OK, let's see how we can actually find the sum of an infinite geometric series when, in fact, the series converges, which means that the absolute value of the ratio is less than 1. So here, we're given a geometric uh, series. So uh, 20 plus 18 plus 16.2 plus 14.58. And you can see the numbers are falling. So this means that probably the ratio is going to be, hopefully, less than 1 in absolute value. Let's compute the ratio. So the ratio is going to be 18 over 20 which equals 9 over 10. And notice an absolute value that is less than 1. So in fact, this infinite series is going to converge. And what is it going to converge to? So what's the sum of all those infinitely many numbers added together? Well, here's the very simple, beautiful formula. The sum of all of these terms, all infinitely many of them, is just going to be the ratio of the first term over 1 minus the constant ratio. So in this case, we see that the sum is equal to the first term, 20, divided by 1 minus 9 tenths. And so what is that? Well, this is 10 tenths minus 9 tenths is 1 tenth. And when I take a reciprocal and multiply, I see 200. So in fact, we see that this, we don't see, but we realize now that all of these infinitely many numbers can be added together, and the total sum is 200. Let's try another example. So another example, I know you want it, and I'm going to give it to you. Here you go. It's the summation. Now look at this notation. We're going to use the sigma notation again. Summation, k going from 1, wait a minute, that's infinity. Well, yeah. Now that's not a number, but it's a symbol telling us that this is an infinite series. This is going to be an endless sum. We start with 1 and we never end. That's what that means. Of 1 over 2 to the k minus 1. This is a geometric series where the constant ratio is 1 half. And so what do I see? I see that the sum is going to be the first term. So what's the first term? I like k equal 1. That's 1 over 2 to the 1 minus 1, which is 0. So 1 over 2 to the 0, which is just 1. So 1 over 1 minus a half. Well, 1 minus a half is a half. When I take a reciprocal and multiply, I see 2. So in fact, all of these numbers added together, all infinitely many of them, will actually add up to 2. And you can see, that as the x's go off to infinity, you're approaching 2. When you take the limit and add all of them up, you get 2 exactly. Adding up infinitely many things, that's the joy of mathematics.